My name is Daniel Kibblesmith, and I am the writer of New Warriors Number One. I got interested in the New Warriors later. I remember seeing them on the shelf when I was a kid, picking up comics in the 90s, and just feeling like they were too cool for me. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I looked at them, and I'm like, yeah. I'm good. Like I was intimidated by, you know, Ninth Thrasher had a blade coming out of his wrist. You know, Nova was really buff. Uh, they were all the edgy characters uh, for the 90s, as the, as the cover said. New Warriors, I thought, were really interesting characters because they occupy this really cool space. They're forever young, but they've now been around for 30 years. My uh, editors on the, the previous uh, books I'd done, like uh, Loki and Black Panther vs. Deadpool, asked if I'd be interested in doing a New Warriors tie-in that actually poses them as the authority figures in this conflict instead of the rebels, and I really liked the tension of that. So because the new warriors are the authority figures in this story, they have to be mentoring new new warriors who are under 21 and- Whoa! <laughs> There it is! What the- What? <laughs> So the first character that we're introduced to is Trailblazer. She's a group home and foster kid who is volunteering at a uh, senior center when this mysterious threat shows up and Night Thrasher runs to the rescue. And because she helps him, she ends up uh, in the crosshairs of this new outlawed law. And she inherited from her grandfather a, a magic backpack of divine origin. A magic backpack. What in the name of Dora the Explorer is going on at Marvel? We picked the name Trailblazer because she's somebody who charges into action. She knows that she can do some good with this, you know, mysterious gift that she's been given. Um, I don't understand. I just don't understand her character. All the other characters seem to have special abilities and she has a backpack that was given to her. Bruh, they are trolling. They are trolling. You don't give the morbidly obese person the, the name Trailblazer? Bruh, she's not going anywhere, first off. <laughs> Green time is... Green time? What is... Who would it say? Does it... What? A internet kid taken to its sort of logical conclusion. As a youth, he was exposed to his grandfather's experimental internet gas. The internet gas is completely laughable. It's... It sounds so stupid. And that has patched him permanently into the World Wide Web. The word screen time is only ever used in a sort of restrictive sense. And because we're doing a story about teenage rebels, uh, a lot of the names are about teens uh, fighting against labels that are put on them. So with screen time, we liked the idea that he has infinite screen time. Snowflake and Safe Space are- <laughs> No! 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 The twins, and their names are- Spider-Man, Captain America, Snowflake in safe space. Marvel, Marvel, come here. Come here. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, Marvel? Huh? See, this is what I thought was a joke, okay? I thought this was a joke. Name two characters, Snowflake and safe space very similar to screen time. It's this idea that these are terms that get thrown around on the internet that they don't see as uh, derogatory to take those words and kind of wear them as badges of honor. You ever think that maybe there's a reason negative words are considered negative and that maybe they hold connotations that shouldn't be used in a positive way? Safe space is kind of a big burly sort of stereotypical jock. Yeah, just a stereotypical jock wearing a pink and having uh, the shortest shorts imaginable stereotypical this doesn't look like a stereo this doesn't look like a stereotypical jock okay you so you did a bad job what burly he ain't burly do you have you have you seen superheroes do you know what they look like he can create force fields but he can only trigger them if he's protecting somebody else snowflake is non-binary and goes by they them if you'll excuse me no 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 non but who is buying this book snowflake has the power to generate individual crystallized snowflake shaped shurikens the connotations of the word snowflake in our culture right now are something fragile 
And uh, this is a character who is uh, turning it into something sharp. There's so much going on with that character. It feels like they're walking, talking stereotype. Snowflake is the person who has the more offensive power and Safe Space is the person who has the more defensive power. The idea was that uh, they would mirror each other and complement each other. E negative is the goth kid. When he was a baby, he got a rogue life-saving blood transfusion, we assume from Michael Morbius, and now he has a very similar look and very similar vampire powers. B negative is a stupid vampire, and I don't care about B negative at all. What a super uninspiring character, and I I feel bad that Michael Morbius was uh, thrown into this at all. Like that, that's just a shame. The negative also is obviously a pun. It's a blood type, uh, which is great for a vampire character. And it's also a proud ownership of the idea of having a bad attitude. I want the people who read Our New Warriors to feel all of the excitement that they felt uh, if they read the 90s one. Good luck with that. Well. We want it to have big colorful characters, personality clashes, uh, romance. A diverse cast, which is something that the New Warriors titles have always strived to make a priority. Every New Warriors comic has always felt like a reflection of the, the year that it came out. And uh, I don't think we're worried about being dated. I think we're way more interested about it being now. Well, I'll tell you, this, is, this isn't my cup of tea. Uh... None of the characters seem that cool to me. I don't even know what else to say. I don't. I I, I don't I, I don't know what else to say. Oh, they look so dumb, like <laughs> they look so stupid. I don't know. I I just the goth kid uh, uh, I don't know. I just nothing. Magic backpack. I don't, never heard of that before. But hey, there's magic hats and shoes and all types of things. Might as well have a magic backpack. Stop, Marvel! What are you doing? Your comics used to be so good. Um, your new warriors used to be very powerful, and they all had their own different quirks. They were all different. They. They had their own personalities who sometimes they did reflect what it looked like on the outside, sometimes it didn't. I'm just so angry with Marvel. Just no, stop. Wow, Marvel really messed up. Indeed. I cannot defend this one. Like, at all. Indeed. This is some of the worst stuff that I have ever seen from Marvel. Indeed. And listen, I understand that I am a straight, cis, white man. Indeed. I'm probably not the best person to be explaining this. Yup. But wow, this does not seem like representation done right. Um, I can see this uh, irritating people. <laughs> um, but I have no interest in this. <laughs> These warriors aren't warriors at all. Doesn't work for me, but it might work for you. You guys can hash it out in the comments section. Man, yo, if this is, if this is the future of superheroes, bruh, call me a villain.